It's caught on in a flash. They did the mash. It did the monster mash. Hey guys, it's Chase, and uh, I'm here to do a video for my man, 22 Tiger Dude, who asked me to do uh, top 10 movies I love to watch on Halloween. Thank you so much, man, for asking me, and let's get this going. We'll keep this short and sweet. So basically, uh, these 10 movies I chose are, uh, that I had picked for this list as, as ones that I just really love to watch in the season, and ones that I love to watch all year round because they just stick with me that much. Um, and there are probably not as many in here that you would think I would choose, some obvious ones and some ones that, you know, are just personal favorites to me. So let's get this going. Uh, the first one is going to be The Toy Story of Terror. Uh, this one came out on ABC Family last year, and uh, I love the fact that they came out with that. The uh, Toy Story and Pixar and stuff came out with a new little short film there, um, and I absolutely love it. So, first one, Toy Story of Terror. Uh, the second one is going to be The Nightmare Before Christmas. Um, this is one that a lot of people argue, is it a Halloween movie, is it a Christmas movie? But I watch it on both because it gets the best of both worlds. You're in the mood to watch some Halloween, boom, some Christmas. Boom, there you go. Easy, said, and done. And the price tag's still in there. That's how much I love this movie, so. Nightmare Before Christmas. Next is gonna be Friday the 13th. I uh, don't have to say a lot about this one, but this one, uh, I am gonna say, I think, set the tone for uh, kind of that slasher, I'm gonna kill these teens that are having sex while my baby's drowning movies. So, <laughs> everybody needs to have one of those in their collection, and that's gonna be Friday the 13th. Uh, the next one is gonna be the Scream franchise here. Um, this is one that, again, I love to watch. Uh, I think... By the fourth one, it kind of became a joke of itself because, like, the scary movie movies and stuff like that. But the first, the first couple, I'll say the first, the first couple were very, very good, um, and I still love to watch these. So, Scream. Next is going to be one that uh, I just watched recently, but um, it sticks with me. And I, after watching it, because I think the humor was really good, and I think that the dark, ominous tone was real good. And that's Tim Burton's Frank and Weenie. Um, because, you know, technically Frankenstein and that whole thing. So I, I am happy to watch this one on Halloween. So Frank and Weenie's on my, my top 10 list to watch. Plus it's a kid movie too. So you can watch it with your kids. There you go. Uh, next is going to be Monster House. Uh, this one I really enjoy. You know, I think, uh, this one came out in like 2006, 2007. I really enjoy it. And the fact that, uh, there is some adult humor. I, I recommend watching kid movies with your kids who have that adult humor because they love it for the fact that it's a kid movie and you'll love it because you understand the jokes. So, uh, Monster House is really, really good. And of course, you know, it's real creepy. The fact that the, the house is eating people and that's just fuck, that's fucked up. So, Monster House. Uh, next is going to be A Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, people clearly know what this movie is. I don't have to say a lot about it, but the fact that you, um, you know, you can't sleep, that's fucked up. Because I love sleep, I like to sleep all day, and if this slimy grabber bastard here was trying to kill me when I was sleeping, I would not be a very happy camper, so Nightmare on, on Elm Street is going to be on my list for that fact only. Here is going to be one that um, my nephew's terrified of, but I love watching it, and that is Coraline. Um, you know, this little girl, her family moves into this new house, and she finds this cupboard that leads her to basically her same life, but it's her other life. And so she has her other mother, other dad, other friends, you know, all that stuff. And it's very creepy, you know, this uh, other world puts button on these other kids' eyes because it's, I guess, sitting fine that they're dead, and that's very creepy. So, core line. Now, my final two picks are ones that I was going back and forth on which one to do last, which one to do, or like do ninth, do tenth. Um, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick to it, so... Halloween is going to be number nine uh, for obvious reasons. You know, this one's set in the Halloween season. Jamie Lee Curtis does an amazing job. She was the scream queen for that time. Uh, and everyone knows Michael Myers. Uh, his mask is just selling through the roof. So that is one that everyone knows and loves. This one, see, every time somebody says Halloween, they think of this one. And for my 10th pick, when people say Halloween, I think trick or treat. Um, this is one that I absolutely love. And I think they did a fantastic job with uh, setting it around the Halloween t uh, season doing four different stories and kind of making them combine together, almost like a uh, Quentin Tarantino movie, and I think that was awesome. And it's also, like, if Quentin Tarantino directed a creep show type movie, it would be Trick or Treat, and I absolutely love it. This little same guy of his Funko Pop, I think he's just creepy as shit, but he's, he's so cute, you just want to pick him up. But <laughs> uh, So yeah, that is my last one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I want to again thank 22 Tiger Dude for having me uh, do a video for him. And, um, of course, all the success on Download Movies. I'm doing a shameless plug. <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Uh, and I would love to do another one of these again, too. So thank you, guys.